Welcome back, Honest Man, Fallout 4, Survival. I'm back at the third rail bar with McCready here, and we're going to talk to Whitechapel Charlie and turn in the warehouse quest. Uh, I did clear the third warehouse between sessions here. When It was basically a carbon copy of the first two, just mowed through them, didn't take a hit. So let's see what Charlie says. Charlie. Just doing my job. Always appreciate doing business with a professional. Okay, next up on the agenda, I'm outside the Mass Fusion building. Uh, and the reason we're here is because I am heading that away. We are finally doing the special delivery quest. I talked to Jack. I'm going to pronounce it Cabot. And we need to go to the Cabot house. This was from a ghoul that we met in Diamond City way back when. He had some sort of job for us. Uh, I've not been to this place ever, and I'm not quite sure what we expect on the way. You'll, you may notice from my hit point bar in the bottom left that I actually did take a bullet just coming this far. So, always a good time in East Boston. Gunshots ringing around our ears. This is it right here. Oh boy. Yeah, you're telling me. This sentry bot is super low on HP though. Okay, noted. Uh, before we duck in, just a real quick note. I've been stockpiling levels. <laughs> so I started the last episode with a level up. And then we did so much speech checks and things that I think I actually got two levels during the last session. So now I have three levels banked and I'm at level 29. This is still sort of in that kind of weird gray zone where I'm not sure if I'm going to push into science or sniper or what I'm going to do. Uh, hypothetically, like I could just dump all three into sniper right now and get sniper. Uh, the problem with this, though, is the scope restriction. Like I don't I don't have a, a scope on my mid range. And just the way I play, I probably never will. Uh, I have a, a real problem with the reflex sight on the pipe rifle. Uh, but even when I get to combat rifles where the reflex sight is quite good, reflex sight does not count as a scope. And for what I'm trying to do with my mid-range, I just don't see how a scope makes sense. It would have to be to a point where I have like so much AP and I'm playing into VATS so strongly that I basically am 100% VATS in mid-range, then this starts to shine, in my view. Um, but right now, I just with my kit and the way I play, not a lot of value for me at the moment, I don't think. And I'm still trying to sort of prove the hypothesis that if you have McCready's bonus... You maybe don't need this if you've got McCready's bonus and some concentrated fire going. So all of this is to say that I'm just kind of sitting on these three levels. Uh, level 30 is actually kind of interesting because there I'm probably doing Sandman 3. Then I'm probably peeling off a rank and, and doing Sandman 3. And then 31, well, well, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Uh, that's just kind of a quick update on the, the level situation. Let's see what's going on with this place now. Go away. You. Let me in. Edward Deegan asked me to come here. Oh, it's you. Good. Come on in. Come on. 
Let's go meet the boss. What is this place? Better to let Jack answer that. Come on. It's fancy. Wow. Jack, the new gal is here. One moment, one moment. We just have to. He'll be right with us. <laughs> oh, damn. Clearly, I'll need to adjust the mixture. Hello, hello. Welcome to Cabot House. I'm Jack Cabot. Well, I guess they pronounce it Cabot. I guess better do the same. All right, you come down here, Mr. Cabot. What is this place? This is my ancestral home. The Cabots have always lived here since long before the Great War. If you're asking what we're still doing here, Boston in its current sad state, well, that's a story for another time, perhaps. Edward said you needed to talk to me before he hired me? Yes, Edward finds it tiresome, but I always like to know personally everyone who works for me. Please, have a seat. How about a drink? Edward, the good bourbon, eh? Please, have a seat. Whoever lives here must have made a deal with the devil. Now, before we get down to business, I have a question I like to ask all my new employees. Is this, this really the time? Don't interrupt, Edward. The question is this. Do you believe there is other intelligent life in the universe? <laughs> I'm not sure there's any intelligent life in the universe, <laughs> at least not on this planet. Hey, you joke, but make a good point. Say humans perish from the Earth, as they seem intent upon doing. Say thousands of years from now, a new civilization arose. What would they know of us? You're implying there was a lost alien civilization on Earth in prehistoric times? Yes, if by alien you mean a non-human precursor to the commonly understood founding cultures. Sumer, Egypt, Assyria. Jack, can I tell her what I need her to do? I'm sorry, I just get carried away sometimes. You're sending her to look for the missing shipment. Yeah. Well then, I'd better leave you to it. We'll talk more about this some other time, when things are less rushed. It isn't important now. Welcome to the family. Okay, you're officially hired. Congratulations. What a whack job. Jack pays the bills, so he can believe what he wants. That's part of the job, by the way. It's best to keep an open mind. Jack may be eccentric, but he's definitely not crazy. The job I got for you is simple. Jack owns a facility north of the city. There's an important package that went missing between there and here. I need you to track it down and bring it back to me. Any questions? For starters, what's this package I'm looking for? It's a metal case holding vials of serum. You don't need to worry about what it is. Jack needs it for his research. That's all you need to know. You should start at Parsons State Insane Asylum. Don't let the name spook you. It's just a secure building that we're using. We think the courier got ambushed as he was leaving the place. The guards heard gunfire in the distance, but we don't know exactly what happened. Check in with Maria at Parsons. She's in charge of the security force there. She can point you in the right direction. You all set then? I have some questions. Shoot. How did this package go missing? The courier got there and picked up the package just fine, but never got back here. Could be simple bad luck, or it could be a deliberate ambush. That's why I'm sending you. It's important that you recover the missing package. Anything else? Why does Jack have people guarding an old insane asylum? I don't mind you asking questions, as long as you don't mind me not answering them. If it was important to what I was asking you to do, I'd tell you. In this case, it isn't. Are we good here? Nothing else. Okay. They're expecting you over at Parsons, so you'd better get going. 
Okay. Oh, and Jack is up here. Oh, it's you. <clears throat> Can it wait? I was just in the middle of something. What's going on at that old insane asylum? I carry out some of my research there. That's all you need to know. The more I know, the better I'll be at my job. Well, I suppose that may be true. My father is confined in Parsons. For his own safety and everyone else's, he became dangerously unstable after handling an ancient artifact he found in Arabia. I've spent my life trying to figure out how to cure him. Are we done? I was intrigued by your theory about an ancient alien civilization. Actually, it was my father's theory. Now proven beyond doubt, although only to me, unfortunately. And there aren't many archaeology journals publishing these days. You have proof? Enough to satisfy me. Because of his illness, my father could not, or would not, explain exactly where he found the lost city. So I've had to confine my studies to what he brought back from his first expedition. But that's been enough to show beyond a doubt that the city he found wasn't made by or for human beings. Millennia older than the earliest human civilizations. But with technology that seems to have surpassed our own. And yet, everything about it is strange, disturbing geometries, tools not made for human hands, carvings that hint at dimensions beyond our own. What was your father's theory? He believed that all of the earliest human civilizations shared some common parent that was unknown to history. Think of Atlantis. The myth of an advanced civilization destroyed by a cataclysm is shared by many widely separated ancient cultures. Eventually, he found what he was looking for. A lost city, buried beneath the sands of the empty quarter of the Arabian Desert. You said your father found a lost city? Yes. He spent years looking, and was widely ridiculed by the so-called experts. I'm ashamed to say even I doubted him. But in the end, he found it. A lost city, buried in the sands of the Rub al Khali. The empty quarter of Arabia. I wanted to ask you about something else. All right. Quite a place you've got here. Amazing that it survived the war. Thank you. I try not to take it for granted. We were definitely more fortunate than most. It hasn't been easy keeping it up to pre-war standards, but we do what we can. Was there anything else? How'd your father manage to travel to Arabia with the whole world blown to hell? Ah, well, that was before the war, when he was a young man. Come on. The war was 200 years ago. You know your history. Most people don't grasp how long ago the war really was. One of the effects of my father's illness was a slowing or arresting of the aging process. It's a ghoul. So, yes, he is well over 200 years old, as you suspected. Was there anything else? I've got to get going. All right. Okay, we didn't find anything else of note at the Cabot house. So we're here in Diamond City. A little bit of an audible. I was expecting that Cabo, Cabot. I was expecting that quest line to keep me in Boston a little longer, but they're they're throwing me all the way up to the insane asylum right away, which is I don't have it marked here, but it's way up in this corner. And I really wanted to wait until I had McCready unlock uh, the med tech facility, so I could, you know plan a trip essentially especially since this is uncharted territory for me in this playthrough so I'm sort of biding my time a little bit just trying to level McCready and what better way to do that than some more shady shit with Bobby so I'm going to try and meet up with her do the big dig and this puts us on track to unlocking Hancock as a companion anyway he's not high priority it's not really a thing but it will get him eventually, so this helps check that box. Uh, I think bigger picture, what I'd really want to do is, if it works out the way I'd like, get McCready advanced to the point that he wants to go to medtech, then bring him through Corvega assembly plant, knock that out, 
um, knock out med tech, turn in the Corvega thing at 10 pines, and then head to the insane asylum. Something like that. It's something approximating that. Uh, because finishing Corvega and turning that in unlocks Preston. I think that's really what we want to do. I, th I think we want Preston after McCready. Uh, but let's let's see if we can find Bobby. Oh, there she is. Bobby. There you are. <laughs> Was wondering if you were gonna show up. Yes, it's me. I have to hide my face in these parts. People like me aren't allowed around here. Now let's get down to business. That big wall of glass looming over Diamond City is the mayor's office. Most people don't know it, but there's a strong room buried beneath. Mayor's just sitting on top of it, and that's our target. The guy has it coming, if you ask me. With how he treats my kind, maybe he deserves worse. What's inside? Caps, meds, food. Enough to keep this city running. It's things we want, things everyone wants. You get in on this. There's plenty for you. You got it. So, what do you say we make this party a little bigger? I managed to track down my tech guy. His name's Mel, and he is right here in Diamond City. The guy can make a gadget to solve any problem. Thing is, he's a bit locked up right now. You have to get him out of there. I can't just stroll into Diamond City security with this face, covered or not. Tell me about this security office. It's built into some old locker rooms, <laughs> and it smells the plot. This isn't a maximum security prison, and it isn't heavily guarded. No problem for someone like you, right? Pick a lock, find a key, bribe the guard. The usual stuff. Just get him out of there. What? You got a sparing problem? Probably not. Some guy came into town. He picked up a weird distress call in the Cambridge ruins. Mel here. Can I help you? Do you come here often? Yeah. Just come here to unwind. Nothing more relaxing than a sparsely furnished jail cell. So I'm guessing you're here because you need something from me. Um, totally unrelated. But I hear that there's an old glitched out Protectron unit back there. Guards asked me to take a look, but it was a real head scratcher. Couldn't do a thing. Officer. You got something to say? Well, here we go. Why is Mel in here? Him? He was caught trying to reprogram the robot bartender at the tap house to give him free drinks. <laughs> Just between you and me, I would totally do that if I knew how. You can let Mel out of here, or I will break him out. Your choice. Hey, buddy. Let's all calm down here. I'll just go ahead and let him out early. All right, you're free to go, buddy. I knew McCready would like that. Yes, he wants to talk now. Let's finish this first. Get out of here. Oh, I guess there's not much to that. Where'd you go, McCready? Hey, clown shoes. Hey. Well. <clears throat> Yeah, I told you I was a damn good shot. Actually, I'm quite impressed. Yeah, thought you might be. I'm completely self-taught, you know. Picked up a sniper rifle when I was 10 and never looked back. I always thought it was smarter to hit my targets at long range. I mean, why take chances, right? Besides, I had to come up with every trick in the book to survive the Capital Wasteland. What were you doing in the Capital Wasteland? I was born there. Lived underground in a place called Little Lamplight. 
with a bunch of other kids. Left there when I was around 16. We kind of had a policy there. No adults. When you were 16, you packed up and left. I know, it sounds crazy, but having adults around was something we couldn't trust. I missed a sarcastic option there, but I wanted him to provide the context of Capital Wasteland. How could a bunch of kids survive without help? Everyone pulled their own way. Just like a colony you'd find anywhere. We all had our designated jobs and we washed each other's backs. Can you believe I was actually the mayor for a while? Me. Crazy, I know. That sounds ridiculous. Maybe, but kept the colony alive for a couple hundred years. Anyway, when I hit 16, I ended up wandering the capital wasteland for a while. I took the odd job here and there, but things were pretty hot with the Brotherhood of Steel running the show. So I hitched a ride with a caravan and made my way north until I ended up here. Made a pretty decent name for myself before I heard that the gunners needed some sharpshooters. Biggest mistake of my life. They were animals. Killed anything that moved if it got in their way. I went with it for a while because the caps were good, but... I don't know. I guess it started to catch up with me. So I quit. Which pretty much brings us to now. So there you have it. My whole life in a nutshell. I don't actually want to flirt with McCready, but I'm going to do it. Sounds like the road can be a lonely place. Until you meet someone to share it with. Yeah, I, well, I, I never thought of it that way. Maybe that's why I feel so comfortable telling you all this. Look, I know I tend to be a pain in the ass. I mean, I know I tend to be arrogant and I come off like I want to be alone. But nothing could be further from the truth. Being alone scares the heck out of me. Now that we've been traveling together for a while, I'm beginning to realize how much I missed having someone I could depend on. I just wanted you to know that I'm going to do everything I can to see that it stays this way. Well, that's all I had to say. Hope you got something out of all that. I know I did. Okay, and here's Mel. Thanks for getting me out. Yes. So, you're Bobby's new toy. Yeah, this year's hottest gift. Get one before they're gone. I don't really do the whole gift thing. That would require having friends or family. God, that woman doesn't have a patient bone in her body. I wasn't serving a life sentence here. What, she couldn't wait like a day? What's the job? You've worked jobs with Bobby before? Enough to know she's not the most trustworthy person around. The team may change, but every job comes with the same set of cryptic instructions as the next. <laughs> yeah, you'd have better luck milking a rabbit Yaogwai than getting a straight answer out of Bobby. How'd you like to help break into the Diamond City strong room? Well, damn. That's a big score. Could be enough caps there to keep me going for a long time. Bobby may be shady, but she always pays up. So, I guess I'll get my stuff and head over to her place. Meet the gang in the dig. Okay, I don't want to get too disjointed here with quests, but since we're here, let's follow up with Fadim. Let us get down to brass tacks. I am glad you are willing to help. Unlike my deadbeat brother, Travis is a good guy. He deserves better life. I'm just waiting to hear your idea. Travis needs boost of confidence. You know what does that for him? Winning a bar fight. I'm sure you've been in one, yes? I can hold my own if that's what you mean. He's telling you the truth. Exactly what I mean. I want you to back up Travis in his first fight. I want to stage fight here in Dutta. Nothing too serious. Uh, we make sure Travis wins and feels good about himself after. I want you to be there to help make it look real. What do you think? Sound good to you? That sounds like an absolute disaster. Now you sound like you're king. Come on! This will work! I have contacts. People I can count on. Real tough looking. But they will take a dive for mine. They confront Travis here at Doug. You step in and he can push he needs to stand up to them. Then you and Travis take them down. Nothing gets too rough, and Travis is something he can feel good about. Simple. 
right? If the goons are getting paid to fight, I want some too. All right, fine. You get cut as well. One hundred cuts. I thought Travis was your friend. Isn't he worth more than that? Do not think I miss your attempt to manipulate me. Fine. Two hundred cuts. Come on. A guy who owns a bar has got to have plenty of cash lying around. Ah! This is extortion! Three hundred cuts! No more! Now you will help! I have everything ready by six o'clock. Travis should be here by then. You show up and it will go well. Promise! Okay, they really got us running around here. So, I am back in Good Neighbor in Bobby's place down in the tunnel and we're going to continue with that quest the big dig I actually did want to stay in Diamond City and do this staged bar fight with Vadim and Travis but it was too late it was like 1 30 a.m. and I had missed my window for the night so I didn't want to stick around there for another 20 hours so felt like this was the way to go This little bot is going to help us move through the earth like a mole rat on jet. Because a robot with no limbs is exactly what you want for your digging operation. What did you expect? A Mr. Handy with a shovel? She's one of a kind. <laughs> I modified her radio systems to emit sonic pulses at frequencies that can loosen any sediment around. Mel says we'll be able to get to the strong room ten times faster than just digging. And it's a hell of a lot safer than loading this place up with dynamite. All right, guys, get ready. I'm not completely sure how this place will respond. So, uh, brace yourselves. Sonia, do your thing. So, what's the deal with the new girl? Oh, I got lucky with this one. Came right up to my door and took the job. She takes orders and she's useful in a fight. What more? She seems to have a good head on her shoulders. Maybe we don't burn bridges this time. Yeah. Okay, I don't trust this. Jesus. Okay. Yeah, I definitely don't trust this. <laughs> I wasn't expecting... I was expecting bad, but I wasn't expecting that. Oh, God. More Meyer lurks. Yeah, nice. I'm actually not carrying a melee weapon. Yeah, so I'll let these guys clear the little ones. That works fine by me. I don't want to waste ammunition on them.
That could have gone worse, I think. God, so much radiation. Yeah, let's... Hurry up, get in, get in. Yeah, just for the rads. It's like, jeez. And the carry weight. Uh, this this suits me fine. I, I'm gonna swap to... McCready's holding a core. I'm gonna pull a core off of him so this thing stops beeping at me. Okay, back in the prior room. Mel, get yeah. Sonya over here. There's another wall here we're gonna do. I really don't want that radio to get picked up, so I'm trying to move briskly here, even though I know there's danger. I can hear it clattering around. There's a whole lot of clattering. It, Mel. Yeah, you're telling me, McCready. Jeez. Okay, cleared that section, pushing forward. Okay, here. We need Sonya here. Yeah, and I think that stupid iBot is actually where the music is coming from. So that's not great. That's. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to try and talk to obscure the noise of the stupid radio. Holy cow, there's a lot of them. That didn't go great, not gonna lie. Yeah, I did swap. I, I keep Pikmin's. I keep Pikmin's dagger on my companion usually, so that they have a melee option. Uh, but for this, for the little Meyer Lurk hatchlings, I did take it off of McCready and put it on myself. Okay, we're going to secure the area here a little bit and figure out where the next wall section is as well. Okay, I think we're all clear here. It looks like the way forward is through this train car.
There we go. Okay. And yeah, so as I said earlier, level 30. I got four levels banked now. Uh, but we're just going to go ahead and use one on Sandman. I don't think we can go wrong there. So it plays right to our main game here. Come on, guys. Get out of the way. Military ammo bag is excellent. That, I believe, breaks down for ballistic materials, which are super rare. Uh, yeah, I think that way is the way forward. I'm just going to do a quick check of the area here. I'm not sure which path I'm supposed to take. Clearly there's multiple paths. Okay, I think maybe this must be the way to go, actually. I'm going to double back and see what that other area has to offer. Okay, that's beautiful. That's going to be our new base for our sniper rifle. That's amazing. Ignores 30% of target's damage and energy resist. legendary up here. I'm thoroughly confused as to which way is the correct way to go. Or maybe they both connect. Okay. 
thing on this one, Swiss, has a Geiger counter equipped. Oh, Jesus. My dear. I don't want to know that. Rob Go Pip Boy is a rare find. Just ghouls for days here. Okay, looks like we maybe finally got somewhere. Safe. Sweet. Okay, so it, it, the path forks, apparently, and both forks eventually take you to this room uh, so you can get through this door. Apparently that's how it works, and I'm assuming this terminal here is going to be the ticket to opening the door. Yeah, it's got to be. Ultimately, the path off of the train car, off the subway tunnel, is like the ghoul path. Holy shit. And the... The ghoul path is good because there's a sleeping bag that you can get to, so I did save. But ultimately, you probably want to do both, 
just for treasure? There were definitely a bunch of legendary legendary enemies on both paths. So those are good for, you know, poten potential treasure. Oh my god, get out of the way. Uh, I will say that this mission has been extremely annoying because... There's just too many people. <laughs> like, and then Bobby will just like stand right in front of you and not let you pass. Even though there's only one way to go. Yeah, why are you... Can't move. Just right in my way. God, I hope I get to kill you. Jesus. Mel, get Sonya over here. Got it. Sonya, blast time. We gotta be close to the end here. She used to work with my grandfather when he was about my age. She courted me at the bar in Good Neighbor and kept telling me how I looked just like her dead friend. Yeah, and she was also my great aunt's neighbor's pharmacist. Yeah, well, laugh all you want. I didn't care if it was true. I was just glad to get to do something with my life. I've been working with Bobby ever since. I only regret it occasionally. All right. Let's get through this final wall. And apparently you can't, like, activating it doesn't do anything. These directions are correct, and I have my doubts. The strong room should be right through there. If you had anything else you wanted to check out in this tunnel, I suggest you do that first. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's working as intended or a bug, but in either way, you have to talk to him. Doubts? It just doesn't seem like we're under Diamond City, does it? I don't think Bobby's telling us everything about this job. I'm ready. You got it. Let's do this. Ready, Sonya? Yeah, unlike the other walls, you have to talk to Mel to get this last wall blown. Bobby. Keep moving. The Diamond City strong room is to the southwest. Great. Now my socks are wet. Well, guys, we're right under the Diamond City Strong Room. You sure this is the right place? I've been mapping it out, and I think Diamond City should be a little further north of here. I don't have a doubt in my mind. How about a little trust for the boss? Tell the truth, Bobby. Where are we? Under the Diamond City Strong Room. And that is the last time I'm saying it. We still need a way to get up there, though. Mel, 
You think your robot will work here? Look at this place. The foundation is already crumbling. One blast from Sonya, and I bet the floor above will come right down. Well then, make it so. You won't want to be in the room for this collapsing foundation and all. Good thinking. All right then, everybody clear out. Sonya, prepare yourself for a blast at maximum power. Here we go. That didn't sound good. Okay. Now let's get up in this room, shall we? Oh, no, 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 Sonya! Pull it off. No, no, no. We don't need that thing anymore. But you can make another robot with the haul we get from the strong room. Keep your head in the game. What does this have to do with Hancock? Yeah, about that. As Mel guessed, this isn't the Diamond City strong room. I see the rest of you are in the dark about this. Nice, no-nos. You all just broke into Hancock's storeroom. You know, Hancock, the mayor of Good Neighbor. Damn it, Bobby. Listen, guys, I know this isn't what you expected, but there are still a ton of caps on the line here. Help me take her out. And all of it is ours. This is Hancock we're ripping off here. The guy tends to hold grudges. Counteroffer. Just go back into your tunnel, and we can forget this ever happened. What do you say? Yeah, I mean, I really don't think an explanation is necessary. It's pretty clear what's going on. You lied to us, Bobby. And you have to pay. You can't do this to me. This isn't how this is supposed to go. Know what? Fine. More for me. Oh, thank God I got to kill her. It's really bugging me. I was itching for a fight, but I guess this works too. Here, take this. A token for doing the right thing. Sets targets on fire for 15 points of damage. Oh my god. I'm not into heavy weapons, but that's pretty cool. Hancock will be happy to hear about your loyalty. You should go pay your respects in person. It's best to stay on Hancock's good side. Trust me. Okay. Well, I think that's going to be a wrap. Um, that's not quite what I expected. And this turned into way more of a mission than I was thinking it would be. And now they want me to talk to Hancock. But in any event, that's going to be a wrap. Uh, we got some more affection in with McCready. Um, this unlocks Hancock as a, a companion. Not that that's imminent, but, you know, when we decide to do that. So thank you all so much. Please like, subscribe, uh, Mary Abernathy, and McCready. We'll see you again next time.